Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the sixth video in my series of Game Maker tutorials. If you haven't done the first five, you need to, so go back and do those. You can see those on my channel anytime. Okay, in this video we're going to make the hero shoot his gun. Uh, so we're going to create some bullets and get them fi flying out of his gun and killing zombies. First thing then, we need a bullet sprite. Click on sprites, call it sp underscore bullet, load a sprite, Let's find my bullet. There it is. There we are. So I've got a bullet sprite. OK. Now I need a bullet object that uses that sprite. So object underscore bullet. And there's my bullet. OK. So now I've got my bullet sprite and my bullet object. Let's get the guy shooting bullets. So open up my hero. And I want to shoot my gun when I press the space bar. So I'm going to add event, keyboard, space and when I hit the space bar a bullet flies out so that can be done with this button here which is create moving which object am I going to create a moving of the bullet um, what speed is the bullet well it's 15 where is the bullet <clears throat> well X and Y zero at the moment that's the top left of the screen but if I make it relative it'll be relative to the hero because that's what we're using at the moment. Okay, so it's relative to the position of the hero, but x0 and y0, well, that's that's going to be coming out of his head, because that's top left of the hero sprite. All right, now my hero sprite is 32 pixels across and 32 pixels down, so if I want it to come out of kind of the middle of the sprite, I need to make the x value 16, because that's half of 32, and the y value 16. So now the bullet's going to fly out of the middle of my hero sprite, wherever he is on the screen, so that's why I've ticked relative, at speed 15, which is pretty fast, but come on, this is a bullet. Okay, right. Let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, then. Come on, here we go. Right, so I can move, and there's the zombie running away because he's so scared of me now. I've got my gun, and I can hit the space bar and I can fire bullets. In fact, if I hold the space bar, I get a whole stream of bullets, which is awesome. Okay? But oh, but they don't they only fire to the right. They don't fire to the left even when I'm moving left. And also, they don't kill the zombie. Well, they wouldn't, would they? Because I haven't programmed that yet. So, I've got to do something here. I've got to first of all make the bullet change direction when I change direction. Okay, let's do that first. Now, what we're about to do is probably the hardest thing we've done so far in this series of tutorials. I've got to introduce a whole concept here called variables. Now, a variable is just a value that the computer can remember that can change. It can vary, hence the name variables. And I'm going to create a variable that remembers which direction the hero is facing. Okay, so I've got to create that variable first. So in my hero object, add event, create then I've got to go down to where it keeps variables, so that's on the control tab variables and I'm going to create a set variable and I'm going to call it facing because it records which way I'm facing and I'm going to leave the value as zero. Now in Game Maker 7 if you're talking about direction value zero is to the right. Now if it was me I'd have thought it was up because that's like 12 o'clock north you know, but it's not. Zero means to the right, so 90 degrees would be down, so 90 is down, 180 is left, and 270 is up. So we're interested in left and right, so is zero is right, 180 will be left. So anyway, we've created a variable. It's called facing, and its value is zero, which means to the right. Okay, now, what happens next? Well, when I press the left key, I want the computer to know that we're going left. So I want that variable to change to 180. So in the left key event, I need to add an action, and I need to set the variable facing, make sure you spell it right, that's crucial, uh, to 180. Okay. So now when I'm pressing left, the variable facing will change to 180, which means left. But I haven't quite finished because 
if I press right, it's got to change back to zero, hasn't it? So let's drag that one out. Facing is zero. Okay, so when I press left, it goes to 180. When I press right, it goes to zero. Okay, that's cool. We've got left and right. Ace. When I press the space key then and create a moving instance of my object bullet, I want the direction to be whatever the variable facing says it is. So if I've just pressed left, it'll be 180. If I've just pressed right, it'll be zero. Okay, hopefully you followed that. Let's test it. Here we go. All right, so get out of the way, zombie. So at this point, I'm pressing the right key, so the facing variable will have the value zero, which means the bullets fly off to the right. Now, if I change direction, I press the left key, the facing variable is now 180, which should mean, oh, and it does, the bullets fly to the left. So now I've got left and right firing, depending on which way I face. Still, nothing happens with the bullets, though because they fly through walls and they fly through zombies. Now we're going to fix that. So this is properties of the bullet. So we need to load up the bullet object and we're going to have some collision events. That's basically what bullets do. They collide with things. So collision. Now what are we going to do? Now the bullets can't collide with the hero, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, but what happens when a bullet hits a wall? Well, when a bullet hits a wall, I want it to stop. It basically just digs into the wall and stops. So when the bullet collides with the wall, I want to, here's a bin, destroy itself. So it destroys the bullet. I could tell it to destroy the wall if I wanted to like shoot down a door or something like that, but I'm not going to do that. Just destroy yourself. So destroys the bullet. Okay, good. And another one, if I collide with the baddie, the zombie, I want it to destroy itself, so the bullet's gone, and destroy the other, which is the zombie. So when it hits a zombie, the bullet gets destroyed, and the zombie gets destroyed. Okay? And that's basically it. So let's test it. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh, right. Okay, let's uh, get some space here and ready. Missed, missed. Yeah, got him. Woohoo! So now I can make this into a bit more of a challenging game if I add some more zombies to my room. Okay, uh, so room zero. And these rooms don't really fit on my little screen very well. Let's select baddies here and go. Lots and lots. Here we go. Try that. Can I fight my way to the goal, which is the key, and get to the end screen? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, run, run, come on. Yeah, I'm taking out all these zombies. Woohoo! Now, it's a bit easy, isn't it? Why is it a bit easy? Because I've got unlimited ammo. So in the next video, I will be showing you how to limit the ammo. And maybe, if I've got time, I will do score so you can actually shoot the zombies and get points for it okay thanks for watching the video tune into the seventh video which will be coming soon